the record button and then I say, yo, what up? How's it going? Pretty good. What's up? Nothing much. Uh, I said it before. I said it again last week. is Kirishima week. Now it's Dinky, Le- Dinky week. Next week, I'm sure we'll <laughs> move on to another uh, another one of these cool DLC characters. <laughs> but we're doing a Deck Doctor on your order. Kaminari list. Kaminari 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one's different than my last one, though. A lot of a lot of different uh, uh, foundation and attack choices. So I'm, I'm excited to I'm excited to hear it. I would love to hear your elevator pitch of what you got going on with Dinky Kaminari. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure thing. So it's got um, obviously the big hitters in this permanent shock, Blitz Rush. Uh, the idea is to use the commit for my attacks and my character to commit them down enough that I can. And then everything else is uh, either stuff that boosts speed, clogs card pool, or forces, or like grab some tape toss, like commits a foundation, then they want to block it usually. Uh, just to make sure my last attack can get through for sure, like they can't block it. Um, and so, so yeah, so I've actually been playing Blitz Rush on eight every once in a while, and it's still good, you know, but it gets through and does, you know, 15, 20 damage, so it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the idea, is just do all the stuff that's either a speed boost or pseudo speed boost and pick a pine with uh, committing their, committing, you know, three to six foundations of my character. Um, that's the gist of it. And then my, my foundations are, you know, to play defense uh, and to do the same stuff, you know, give the speed boost to the card bull clogging. Um, so that's the pitch. Um, I've played it maybe five or six games, but working pretty good. I've made some changes. I didn't make the last round of changes that I think should go because I wanted to just have you look at it first. For sure. See what you thought. I love that. I love that. Um... I'm tossing in just a couple more options here. The first first thing that I, I'm noticing um, is only one slashing. Is that like not your goal here? Are you just like a blitz um, big blitz rush gamer? So uh, it just hasn't worked out too well, honestly. Fair. Um, so I put I put one right now. I have one slash two, one surge. The, honestly, the change I'm going to make is probably take out slashing for a second surge because surge has been amazing. Uh, Actual surge. Yeah, electric surge. Interesting. Um, okay. So, so slashy was in there for the meme for the like, oh, turn two, do fourteen damage, right. but it's just not hitting it often. Mm-hmm. And electric surge, sure, it only hits for seven, um, but it uses up one less moment. Like it's obviously seven is like half of the damage, right? But it uses up one less momentum. Um, it's pseudo one faster because that one mo- momentum is like committing one of their foundations, plus it has stun, so it's like sort of like one speed faster so like it gets through a little easier uh surge is also better on a kill turn because i pop seven damage on it and then they want i pop seven damage on it and then i use the rest of my momentum to commit them out and my opponents really want to block it because now it's seven damage as like my first or second attack right um right so it's, it's better on my kill turn than slashing is it's just easier to activate it only uses half the momentum it's technically actually a little harder to block um, when it gets in my momentum, it counts as two, which is yeah. pretty sick. Um, so I can get it in there with, I only have one reckoning out of two to one charged up, which is maybe not the right move, but I have other ways to get in my momentum besides hitting with it. Um, so it's actually been, I put it in there just to like see, and I'm like, this that's actually performing, and I think I might go up to two. I love that. I love, I love that you have like real reasons. That's very, very cool. Yeah, I think slashing whirlwind personally, I think it's a meme. I think everything you uh-huh. want to do with slashing whirlwind, you just do with with um uh tape swing instead. And it's just like mm-hmm. like a real move. Um yeah, it's a five two with a one high as opposed to a four three with a one mid, but like it actually has card text yeah. whenever it's just like your first move of the turn, right? Like like um right. common R2 actually makes it eight damage if I want it to every single time. Um Right. Um, yeah, and like that's the only reason, honestly. The one for the meme and one is that it's the one plus mid block is the only reason I didn't cut it mm-hmm. almost straight away. Right. Um, so I found so many turns where I'm like, I, I want, I can't use my once per turn or my up, or I can't use my discard momentum in hands because I have freaking session whirlwind in my hand and I want to use momentum for it or whatever. Right. Uh, it just makes awkward plays. So the other the other thing that we get to do, right, is if we just play instead of flashing whirlwind, we just play another blitz rush, like we just play a third one, right? Um, this card is essentially the same amount of damage. It's harder to play for sure, right? But the cost is way yeah. less. So this is a five high, essentially because of the sun one for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we've got that two momentum, mm-hmm. versus five mid for fourteen, only playable if we've hit them this turn. Um, and then you didn't lose the momentum, so you could like blitz rush a second time and then 
and then keep popping off. Um, yeah, and, then and that's, that's what I love about the special effect. Like, yeah. It's like the special is like minimum fifteen damage, and I get to keep up my momentum uh, to commit the knot is is fantastic. I wouldn't mind going up to third blitz rush. I think I might want to make the deck bigger if I did. So like, I had three in here originally, and I feel like I was just seeing it too often. Yeah. Um, for how expensive it is, and like, oh, and like just seeing it on too many turns where I don't have the foundations to play it, which I guess it's a one mid block, so that's not the worst. Mm -hmm. Um. I think, I think on yeah. turn four, I think that this card is crazy. Um, oh yeah, especially after a setup strike, right? Like I think I think like mm -hmm. if I were to, if I were to run this deck right and like like mm -hmm. the 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 commentary deck that I'm gonna make for 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 my tournament event that I'm probably gonna happen maybe even tomorrow maybe I'll play Dicky tomorrow at locals. Yeah, That's fuck right. it, I'll do it. Um, is we'll do <laughs> four setup strike, four blitz rush, and okay, just like. I play setup strike, and then there's a blitz rush. It's on a seven. I check my five. I commit two foundations. I don't care because I'm putting requesting assistance up to a four of. It's crazy. This is only at a two. That's insane. What is going on mm -hmm. here? <laughs> this is the craziest card in your deck. You always have a momentum. It's always live. Yeah. I can't um, deny that you this. It's your God given right to have a momentum. One hundred percent. I agree with you. I mid man. The mid blocks on the symbol are are awful to like. It's, it's, sorry, it's I have way too many mid blocks. Like whenever sure. I build a deck on the table, I like, have way too many mid blocks, and I yeah. try cutting for requesting assistance. I realize that's a mistake. I just figured I'd change it after I do a deck deck with you. Fair, fair, um, fair, 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 fair. So fair. It was like, and like, I was saying, like, you know what? No, too fast in the torture, too heroic lineage is disgusting, and I yeah. definitely need to run more, more requesting assistance. I just don't know what to do for mid blocks. We'll so figure it out. Changed. We'll figure it out. Cool. Um. But yeah, I wanna I wanna push this up to a three. I wanna cut slashing down to a zero. Um, I think this card is neat. I think this card is just better. I think this card is just mm -hmm. like the only issue this card has genuinely is that it's a little slow. But with Denki mm -hmm. being able to cash out and discard your the momentum on the one that you want to kill them mm -hmm. with is like it's just it's actually just nuts. Um, even sure. something like indiscriminate shock into blitz rush, make this massive, yeah. make this massive, commit everything. It's just it just hits so hard, you, dude. You kind of want to do it. I've been doing it the other way because because you want to uh, blitz rush, get all your damage, and then discard your momentum, and then play in this ground and shock second um, after everything's committed out. Sure, if that makes sense. Too. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's that because uh, you want to commit everything out for in this shock and then have your blitz rush only hit for seven. But but yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Like if you draw a blitz rush and indiscriminate shock at the same turn, it's it's pretty much dead dead enemy, dead opponent, right? It's 100 damage. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's so it's, much. It's rough. I think, yeah, I think your math's right. Exactly 100. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, definitely play some more games. That if you know, if I think the attack lineup is too expensive, I can always just cut it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, look at all those minutes. How, how do you how do you feel about uh, grasping tape toss? Um, it's been really good as a as a poke or a setup on a kill turn, honestly. And the deadlock enhance is strong, so I guess having three blitz rush, maybe I don't need the deadlock as much. But yeah, I wanted it's to like cut one it down to a one and put in a fourth setup strike because I think you That's need awesome. it. Um, I think the plus three speed is really good, and if like this thing mm -hmm. you happen to like pop off with it, right? Like you uh, you use something along the lines of like self sacrifice to give it stats or 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 whatever, or like defrosting, mm -hmm. like. Like this is this is a free six high for five in our character technically, right? Because yeah. we get the momentum on the turn. We we set up strike. We play setup. We get the momentum off of Denki. We instantly spend the cash. Um, yeah. And so like, um, yeah. it's a five I, damage I attack thinking... that gets to gets to uh, put itself yeah. back in momentum, right? Because there's no way they're blocking it. Yeah, that's the thing I'm learning about this deck pretty fast. Is like if you spend momentum to make your attacks hit, you just get the momentum right back, 100%. and it's like it's been it's pretty cool. And that is, um, that is why I like Denki so much, because, like, think about how often you get momentum. Um, this character just gets a free one every turn, right? He's just mm -hmm. he's just owed a momentum every turn. It, that doesn't that doesn't even include, like, hitting with your jolts or hitting with your tape tosses. Like, that's, like, I go tape mm -hmm. toss jolt, Denki, on my turn. I've grabbed three momentum on two attacks. Um, this is plus six damage on the Blitz Rush. That's a 13 damage move, which is just as big as... Um, as the uh stain card slashing whirlwind right yeah yeah oh yeah for sure yeah 
a five uh, high for least. 13 stun four stun five just kidding it's more it's five high for 15 yeah. because you get to steal I, two yeah. yeah yeah this this deck, this never deck is so sick. Momentum. <laughs> like, it, it's always it's always 15 or higher yeah um it's, always, it's like 15 to 19 so far um i would consider um if we're gonna go to maybe go to like 21 attacks and add a couple foundations um just because i don't like having my um sure I don't like having like my attack line up that expensive with all the fives and I guess it's not that many, but we um, cut this, a five for another four if it if that helps at all. But we did true. add in a, 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 a we did add a six, so I get what you're saying. So yeah, we, we I basically cut a five and a four and added a four and a six. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done for that. Um so, uh, attack-wise, I want to talk about the sideboard that I, I added stuff in. Uh, Searing Glacial Storm, I talked about it in the previous order build. This card is insane. Um, whenever mm -hmm. you can steal a bunch of momentum. Um, we're not running two checks, and so I think this card is more game-impactful in the sideboard than the Tape Swing is. I think Tape Swing is the quote-unquote better card, um, but like... Mm -hmm. um, I was like, but, but that should be a main board option. You take the tape swings out to put in the Searing Glacial Storms. I think this card easily right. could exist in your sideboard. Maybe you take out a single Blitz Rush, a single Eat My Sticky Balls, a, the Grass Tape Toss for opponents that are just trying to absolutely outbuild you, and then you commit everything, and then you double in the scrim and shock them and kill them. Yeah, that's, that's actually that's super gross. I yeah. love it. Yeah, put them um, at five, have five momentum. They're tapped out. We just don't care. Yeah, I um, definitely like that. I like that a lot better. Like, I, I didn't want, I didn't put uh, tape tosses in because... Just because I want to use my momentum for committing with the rest of the deck shape. Sure. Um, but uh, in this room, it's, or uh, Searing Glacial Storm, definitely. I really like that idea. I'm definitely, yeah. And then definitely good set. my last one is just Giant Bite Detention. Um, I think Giant Bite Detention is really cool. And you were playing a lot of uh, uh, high attacks. Um, things like Blitz yeah. Rush, things like Eat My Sticky Balls. Um, things like setup strike and so like this is an option i think your attack lineup would have to change just a little bit if you get bored of this attack lineup and you want to like actually just like truly be live the meme dream uh giant by mm -hmm. is really cool it's just a cool order attack yeah I, I, I like i'm not sure i'll put it in now but i definitely like test some stuff and like see if i want to go down on anything and that's an easy uh slot in as a four diff hell yeah um okay so now onto the foundations um things <laughs> that you aren't playing i don't think you're playing hero killer which is exceptionally good whenever you are going first. Whenever you are winning the foundation count, um, keeping my opponent low on their foundations is really good to the point where you would just main board it. It's, it's, it's in the same idea as Ready, Get, Set, Go of like you main board mm -hmm. four of this card so that when you do in the die roll and you slam two of these down, your opponent tries to play any sort of defensive pieces or things that can like my opponent tries to build back double. Uh, it can't be fixed. You just hero kill those two cards away and go. No, I, I am going to commit your whole board, actually. That is, <laughs> yeah. that is what's going to happen. Followed it can't by... be it hasn't even been that much of an issue because I, I use my uh, Kaminari in hands first. And then, like, they, you know, I commit them out and then they, like, build in two. And I just, like, okay, my attack has done one on it. So I'm going to take, right. take those down anyways. Yeah. Um, it hasn't been, hasn't been much of an issue. Um, even if they have two, like, y'all stun one down with this attack, I'll stun one down with the next attack, and you're back to nothing. Back to nothing. My only my only issue there is if you whiff, you've given them two free foundations. That that's all. That's fair. Um, making a stand, most of your attacks are has have stun, and so you get to mm -hmm. just snipe them away. And it also forces your opponent to uh, not have momentum because you're the king of momentum, and you shouldn't let them have theirs. Um, <laughs> this if you only find one. room, the two five three low block. I think it's a, I think it's a fine addition. I have two on my sideboard right now. Do you think it's worth? I guess you, we as we look at the rest of the foundations, maybe if you see a spot to like slot it in the main board, I'd be down for that. But right now, I have two on the sideboard. Um, I think it's so better I do than rocking like attitude out of the order symbol, personally. Yeah, Same I think so. I, I, I have rocking attitude in there, and I have every time I try it, I'm like, oh, I'd rather have any other low block foundation yeah. That, yeah. that I have in my deck. So, um, yeah, Shout I definitely have effort on your deck. It's not in my deck. Why? Um, why? This card's fucked up in this character. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you're right. Um, what would I take out? Who knows? Like, like, like it was. It, it was, was a choice awesome. not to play it, and that's what that's what matters to me. So, what was your what was your uh, thinking yeah. when it came to not playing shock treatment at all? I had to cut mid blocks, and I wanted the card draw in the deck. I wanted mm -hmm. four calling for backup. Um, and after playing like four calling for backup was absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. I wanted a third. I wanted a third pass in the torch, um, 
the three diffs, um, the defrost and the sticky balls are super important. Um, whether well, I run three and one or two and two of the three diffs, but they're super important. Uh, mm -hmm. I think bass has been pretty good just for getting like plus with uh with um it's a zero diff called um with gotcha. gotcha you know just getting plus two speed so that to make my you know instrument shock unblockable that's what thing fast is there for right um just every other mid mid block foundation seems more important Interesting. um right like like i even need to yeah i need like i can't think of anything that's less important maybe think fast could go um, but I still need to fit in more requesting assistance, and that's that's where I'm having with trouble. Fair. Is I have too many mid blocks, and they're all vital. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. <laughs> and then my yeah. last card really is just ice gliding, but like it's a one five three mid block, and so like I'm sure you yep. cut it because of the top right number. The, exactly, yeah. exactly. I was like, it was that or calling for backup, it, and that was a really easy decision. Okay, so I'm going to make some hard snap choices, and I'm just going to do them for you, and we can talk about them when I'm done, okay? Right. So I'm going to put requesting mm -hmm. up to a 4 up because this card's fucked up. I'm going to yep. toss Think Fast into the sideboard because I want to cut it all together. I'm going to all take right. Sticky Balls and put it down to a 2 of, and I'm going to put Defrosting mm -hmm. in the sideboard because I want to cut it. Um, okay. And so now we get to talk about the decisions that I've just made. I think that Defrost, uh, Think Fast is not good enough in this kind of a deck. Um, you... You're right. You have too many two five uh, mid block slots, and this is the weakest of all of them, right? That's um, correct. And I think that shock treatment is just a way better card, and I want to put it in back in at a two of. I think this card is insane. Selectively committing your opponent's stuff is so so good. It is better than discard your momentum, and then they get to pick whatever they want on their on Kaminari. Um, it's too good. It's actually just too good. Um, Kaminari plus shock treatment is selectively commit two things for free. Discard the momentum you get off of Kaminari and then destroy shock treatment. Ping, ping. Selectively touch two things and that is fucked up good. It's so good. Um, yeah. And it's so it's so easy and so free to do. Um, we'll go back to the block zones. Uh, I don't think you need three sticky balls. I think two is totally fine in a deck like this. Um, you could sideboard the third whenever you're going second, so you can, like, survive past turn two. I think that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then defrosting. Uh, I get you want to give your thing your uh, indiscriminate speed. I get you want to give your blitz rush speed. But we have four setups right now, and so that's doing its job. Yeah, we don't, that's we don't need the three diff. And that was it. It's, like, how to make my things... After I commit them out, I usually just need like one or two more speed, right? But I guess that's what we have the setup strike for. We've got that, uh -huh. and we've got triple sticky balls, which say that mm -hmm. all your moves get plus one speed for the rest of the turn because either they block the thing or they stuff their card pool. You might sticky balls is plus one speed for the for forever, um, and it's speed they can't interact with. Astros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, some stuff can actually, but yeah, no, I, I I gotcha. Yeah. So, any. Any of that mid block stuff that you disagree with? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we we've stayed stayed like fairly healthy at like 57. Still got 23 mid blocks. I think we're feeling fine there. Yeah, not really. I like it. I think as I play, when I draw the scrim shock, I'll just think like, oh, would I rather have defrosting here and just kind of see how it feels? Um, so I'll kind of like feel that out as I go. Um, yeah. Because it's it's been. I agree with everything you did. I would be. To me, I'm not sure if I like shock treatment or defrosting better, but I'll play with shock. I play with defrosting. Now I'm going to play with shock treatment and see if it feels any better. Um, so I have not played with shock right. treatment in set two, but in set one, it was the MVP of my Ochako deck, straight up. Yeah, the Ochako list that uh -huh. like I had, I had quite a bit of success with. Um, it was it mm -hmm. was shock treatment. Um, it, this this card this card was actually insane and it was because ochako snapped that momentum that made this card so good mm -hmm. and our character does it even faster than ochako does yeah, it's faster and freer for sure mm -hmm. 100%. Okay. yeah yeah like, like i said i definitely think you, you make a lot of good points so i definitely want to try that out um as as is with the shock treatment in okay let's move on to high blocks um, mm -hmm. so the high blocks that I don't like in your deck are charged up for the exact same reason I don't like Rockin' Attitude. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like Fulfilled My Duty. If anything, I would play it at a one of. I think it's really cool at one. I don't think it needs to be more. And Dragging and Resentment, but I'm a big resentment hater. So, y I need you to sell me on these before I just slam mm -hmm. more Desperate Times and Hero Kills in your deck. Resentment was kind of a last-minute choice last time I looked, was looking at my deck just because I played, let's see, I played, um... I played like a win a box this past Saturday and like 
three of my opponents were uh, playing Relentless Barrage in um, mm. Kirishima 2, and it was very frustrating. Um, so I wanted Drowning Resentment those decks. Um, besides that, it's just plus two damage. I'm not opposed to cutting it for another plus one or plus two high block. I guess it would have to be a plus two high block of some sort. Um, it's in there for killer. the plus two. Hero yeah. Killer or um, Desperate Times? Desperate Times would be good. Yeah, Hero Killer... Where's your kill? Oh yeah, that's the one that removes foundations. Correct. Yeah, I've, hmm. I've never really been a big fan of Hero Killer, but I, th I, that's it. I've never been a, been a big fan of Hero Killer. So here's here's what we do um, instead. You ready? Let's take no, fulfilled. let's that, take fulfilled yeah. down to a one of. Let's take charged up, and really focus on it. Let's take charged up <laughs> and put it out of the deck, and let's put Hero Killer in at a two of. I want you to really try this card because this card, mm -hmm. once again, is just, I mean, it's a really good, I'm winning, I'm best while ahead. You take them out if you are going second, right? Um, yeah. Because, yeah. like, you going low on your foundation count on turn, on their turn two when they're building about four more foundations. I have four foundations. They build up to, to six to eight foundations, and you drop them to six, and I have two. That's not a good exchange rate. I can't, I can't afford that. But there's some specific foundations that just hose decks. They're just, there are, there are decks that do that right like mm -hmm. uh someone plays a night watch on you right before hero killer before before you get a chance to shock treatment that night watch away before you get a chance to whatever you just hero killer and you never have to deal with that card ever again um it's yeah not, it's not committed for the turn it's just gone forever and apathetic right i've got i've got a pass in the torch that i want to make happen i've got heroic lineage is the only thing that's going to get me there fulfilled my, fulfilled my duty is the one that's going to keep me alive i mm -hmm. i just i snipe that card it's gone, right? Right. Yeah, I'm done. For, yeah, I'm done for that. And then, uh, desperate times, we have to play this card at a, at least a three of. Um, I want to cut bonds of friendship down to maybe cut bonds down to three. Natural leaders could probably leave. Man, I want to just get rid of drowning. Yeah, you can get rid of drowning. I'd rather get rid of. I'd rather get rid of. Honestly, I think I want to go back to two. Fulfill my duty could spend like a lifesaver for me. Sure. Um, but we can get rid of drowning for sure to make that space. Yeah. Drop this up and to then a even if three, up. and we're still at 57. Okay. We haven't lost any high blocks now. Cool. I think we gained so one. That, uh, no, I think we're at still at 18. We're still we're at 57 right, cards here. Yeah. Block zone. Okay. Lows. Four gotcha. Four self-sacrifice. Four heroic. Four fruits. One rock and attitude. I just want to take the one rock and attitude out, and we're going to put in the one making a stand and just let that ride. Um, the other thing that I would maybe do is take out the uh, making a stand for like a fourth self sacrifice. I'm a I'm a big fan of this card personally. I think this card is mm -hmm. crazy daisy, um, especially in our 25 health character. Being able to reduce some stuff by one by one by one might be the thing that keeps us alive. Um, otherwise, this could just become like another fruits of our labor, depending on what your local scene looks like. Um, otherwise, I would just leave it as the making a stand and, and just let it rock. Little little disruption. At a, and a little little more gas on on grasping electric blitz indiscriminate jolt got it yeah yeah all in all thoughts yeah um i, I like it definitely I, um a lot of changes i was kind of considering making and then a lot of like stuff that i hadn't thought of but i think is definitely really interesting to try out um you made a lot of good points about shock treatment. I cut it before I played the deck once, and I think that I'm gonna end up liking it. Um, yeah, and I got I'm gonna like the extra zero dips too. So yeah, I uh, I like it, and I'm gonna see about make you know making the sand and, and shock treatment. I like the ones that I'm gonna test a little bit and see if the sixth, third blitz rush is too much. But um, yeah, it looks really good. I like what you did. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, alright, man. Well, uh, stay on the line just long enough for me to uh, to shoot to the list. Thank you again for the support over on Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. And we will uh, we will get you on out of here, okay? All right. You have a good rest of your night. You too. Peace.